Hi everyone, my name is Karthik Manik and uh, welcome to the weekly market view by Sherkan Education. Today we we'll take a view of what we can expect from the market for 25th of July to 29th of July. Uh, let's look at Nifty first. Nifty closed today, 22nd of July on 16,719 odd levels and uh, to understand Nifty more in detail, let's uh, look at uh, the weekly chart. So what is the weekly chart indicating? We have seen, we were seeing a downward trajectory in uh, Nifty in the last few weeks, but uh, with today's closing, I think the downward, the downward trajectory has been uh, kind of broken and the trend has now turned a little sideways. Uh, what gives us even more confirmation is looking at the monthly charts. On monthly charts, we have seen prices uh, taking some strong support towards these monthly demand areas and showing some bullishness. And this bullishness is being shown after a consolidation after on the monthly charts for quite a long time. Uh, the quarterly charts are still indicating uh, the upward trajectory on the markets. Monthly again we are seeing some bullishness and some of these bullishness are also based on uh, after prices breaking this crucial low. So there were a lot of uh, false breaks on the lower side. For example, uh, this low was a crucial low point and when the markets broke this low in the June month with a gap down, it might have created a lot of panic in the markets. A lot of people would have exited considering the fact it's in downtrend, but because there was a monthly demand zone, the next candle over here kind of uh, showed something called a spring pattern where a crucial support is broken and we see a very strong bounce back. Uh, post that, the upward trajectory has continued. Uh, there was some resistance around these areas, but uh, I think there is a fair uh, resistance again at around this supply point. So markets, once it comes over here, they could take a pause, could take a breather. Somebody has to follow some conventional technicals around over here, then a lot of conventional technicals would be looking at a trend channel over here, which could mean that it can go on the top side as well. But purely looking at uh, the overall price action, Anywhere around these areas, I would not say it will start to fall down. We need to see some price action over there. But markets could take some rest once it hits around 17,000, 17,100 levels. Uh, the weekly trend, as I said, is gone a little sideways. But the daily trend is clearly showing an upward trajectory right now. We are clearly seeing higher highs and higher lows and uh, a pretty strong upward movement out here. Some uh, very strong outside gaps also formed, showing that the markets are in the bullish mode. So if I have to set the trajectory of what the range for the next coming week on the upside could be, so there is definitely this weekly supply area out here and uh, there's a tested supply out here. Already seen, seen a reaction, this is the second time it's coming, so maybe we can see it go deep over here. Um, there is also some supply area out here. So 17,000, 17,100 is where we could expect markets to take some pause and uh, anywhere around over there, if you're looking to be a buyer, it could be a very aggressive decision. Uh, one should be a little careful of how you're looking to go long at those areas because uh, it will be a little difficult to place a stop loss. So 17,100 is a safe range to keep on the top side uh, in the markets. On the lower side, where can we expect the markets to take uh, the upward momentum. So I believe till the point, uh, if I look at the other smaller time frames, I think till the point Nifty is above 16,600 on 560 odd levels, the bullish momentum will not get interrupted. Uh, it will still hold on to the bullish momentum. It's only if it goes below that, then uh, we can say that the bullish momentum of the markets would get interrupted. But uh, I would say that on the lower side, if I go on a 75 minutes chart, so this demand zone is which is holding onto the bullish momentum right now. That till the point this demand is holding, we should not say that the bullish momentum will take down or it will go uh, on the lower side. If this demand zone breaks, the trend will turn slightly sideways on an hourly chart. Um, and uh, as per anticipation trend, this demand is another over here. So if you see Nifty go below 16,200, uh, that is where the lower range is. So if that breaks, then that breaks the overall upward trajectory. So if I have to right now mark the range which 
the field that markets could be in so on top side we can expect the nifty to be around 17100 dot levels so that's also where the weekly supply is and on the lower side it will be difficult for nifty to go below 16300 dot levels so the range which one can set is uh, between these two demand zones or someone who's very aggressive can lean on this demand area uh, if it if this gets violated then prices can go sideways and uh, you will find it difficult for markets to go above 17000 and below 6200 so this is the range which we can expect the markets to have uh, for the next uh, week if i just remove all the other areas so this top area of 17100 and then the lower area of 16200 is there uh, believe this is the range one can look to set for the next uh, coming week um, let's look at uh, bank nifty of what we can expect from bank nifty on uh, bank nifty again over here the daily trend is on the upside so the momentum and the trajectory of the stock is strongly index is strongly on the upside out here look at the weekly and weekly also the trend has gone sideways in fact it has broken some supply area out here so showing some uh, bullish momentum again on the top side there is some supply area out here from where prior fall has happened so we could again see uh, bank nifty also take some resistance around over there daily trend is up and uh, as i said on the top side there is this uh, supply area out here from where uh, once it reaches over here one has to be a little careful look at the price action the closer we are to 38000 odd levels uh, the more we should be looking to be very very conscious with our long decisions because the reward to risk will not be so much in favor on the lower side, because the trend is uh, pretty well on the upside, if I go and want to set the lower range, so the lower range on uh, Nifty would be this demand area out here. So till Bank Nifty is holding on to this demand zone, we can say that the upward momentum is continuing. There's also demand on top of that also. And uh, on the lower range, we could expect... Uh, bank nifty to stay in this range so even if this demand is there if you want to take two demand zones i would say that it will be difficult for bank nifty to go below 35 400 and on top side it would be a little difficult for bank nifty to break uh, these top supply areas out here so 30 38000 to 30 uh, 5400 is the range that one can set for bank nifty in the few, next few days the closer we are to the topper resistance area and if you are seeing some supply zones or we are seeing some bearish indications one can take a calculated reward risk short trade and the closer you are with the demand zones you can look to go on the lower side on the long side uh, making sure that the reward to risk is uh, taken care of that plays a very important role so yeah that's with the bank nifty view Let's look at uh, USD INR. USD INR is in a strong up move. We have seen uh, rupee depreciate against USD INR tremendously for the last uh, few sessions. In fact, uh, all this while uh, we were kind of anticipating it to uh, get weaker, but it has reached those areas where now I feel uh, there could be some resistance. It has hit 80. So if you carefully see, there were instances where it also went above 80 so kind of psychological number right now uh, is the trend on the weekly chart overstretched then i believe that uh, one thing we can look at find overstretch is uh, a technical tool which you can use rsi so rsi the basic understanding is if rsi is above uh, 75 or 80 it is overbought if it is below 25 20 it's uh, oversold um, if you look at the weekly chart we are seeing the weekly RSI is above 80. So it's a little overbought, overstretched. How I look at it is, uh, I, would not, I would not say it is bullish. Neither I will say it's bearish. I will give a neutral view on USD INR now for, from weekly chart perspective. And if I am looking to go long over here, that would be a little aggressive. On the daily chart, however, uh, we, what we need to understand is that all these technical tools if there's 80 doesn't mean that it will uh, it will go down it can go down it can correct down but i know 
lot of stocks which have tripled after hitting a rsi of 80 so all these things are just uh, rough estimates what we need to understand is the price action of what price action is telling us um if you look at the overall trend monthly trend is up weekly trend is up and on the daily side so it's very clear to say that till the point uh, we are about these areas so if it if the price starts to go below 79.37 and it goes to 78.9 that's where the upward trajectory would break so i would currently hold this demand zone as an area which will hold on to the up move of the market and if we see 78.9 break then we can say a temporary high has been made and uh, then we can see the markets accordingly later on but uh, my view on the markets would be that this demand is holding i would want to keep a keep a bullish view if i go on smaller time frames then there is a uh, demand out here go on 125 minutes there is another demand area out here so few demand zones which can hold on to the markets anywhere around these areas one could look to uh, take some bullish positions considering the fact the risk will be low currently whether uh, usd inr is taking a long positions could be risky because placing a stop loss will be a challenge uh, 75 minute trend if you see on hourly charts the trends have gone a little sideways and in fact if you see the price go below these lower areas the downward trajectory will start which would mean that in a very short term trading perspective someone would have uh, trading opportunities to go short as well but uh, till we don't get any confirmations we will not be directly going short so for the next week one can say that area which i have marked over here is the lower area will it go up uh, i would say the chances are little less but uh, will it go down even that is less so the view you can keep is a non directional bullish view that mark the prices will not go below these areas in the coming week or so let's look at uh, an opportunity stock wise so one stock which i am getting my attention on is right now hdfc um if you look at the daily chart of hdfc until this area over here it had gone sideways with the price action movement uh, today on 22nd of july we can say that the upward trajectory of hdfc has been confirmed so that's showing some bullishness um let's try to understand what's happening overall with the bigger picture chart so if you look at the monthly chart over a period of last 7 8 months we have seen some correction we have seen some consolidation so we are at the support areas out here on the lower side uh, weekly chart if you carefully see uh, after being in a sideways move for such a long time with the entire news coming of the merger we saw the stock moving up reacting from the supply zone a lot of people entering around over here and expecting a up move we have seen uh, prices break this lower areas and again then move up again one of the very common pattern before a trend reversal happens is uh, a spring pattern which means that lows get taken out which means the lows over here uh, were just rip sort out a uh, psychological numbers where market would know that people are looking to keep their stop losses and change their positions market will just come and hit those levels and show some reversal so we saw that happen and post that in the last 4 5 weeks we have seen the stock show some upside uh, momentum out here the weekly trend from being in a downward trajectory has now been confirmed on the sideways end and the daily trend is up so this is giving some confidence of keeping a bullish view on the stock uh, and I, i would not be only looking at the bullish view on the stock for a week maybe a, a little bit more and more than that the upward range which i can set in you hdfc would be around these supply areas out here so uh, from 20 to 95 the stock could go to 2400 so that's my upper range uh, in the next week or few weeks and on the lower side if you go on lower time frame with the trajectory being on the upside i went on the 125 minute chart or a 75 minute chart uh, you have this demand zone against which you can even take a lean lean to take a long uh, position out here on 125 minutes also there is uh, a demand area out here so these would be the demand zones which one could use uh, to go long so the lower range is over here as for reward to risk uh, 
the upper range is pretty far away so even as per your risk calculations one can look to take some long positions i believe that the stock could show some upside movements and uh, one needs to be very clear with their position sizing and risk rules before taking any uh, positions over here but uh, the stock looks good and bullish on the upside we can expect some nice upward momentum which also gives me confidence over here that the stock can go up would also be the valuation of the stock so at shaytan education we also have one of our proprietary tools which shows valuations this really helps with investing but it gives a very good idea from uh, trading also so if i just have to apply the valuation indicator out here just to give you an idea of how it works uh, the dark blue line over here is where the valuations are at the mean point and uh, area between dark blue and light blue is where it is uh, expensive over here above light blue is where it can become kind of very expensive right now we can say the valuations are on the cheaper side so even the valuation wise uh, we are seeing the valuations being pretty uh, good the daily trajectory on the trend is going up so even though this is where there is a strong resistance uh, one can look to hold on to the long positions take a very very small risk and potentially look for a bigger reward uh the plan could be you can look to enter long over here take some strategic positions again a stock which one can use to trade options uh for the week or two weeks uh, you can do a, maybe a bull put spread out there once it goes to 2500 around those areas uh if you have bought shares you can do uh, some positions to protect your positions by using maybe some covered calls and uh, if nothing like that you can just keep this range and trade for a week or so so this stock is something which uh, i feel is good to keep on radar on once these areas get taken out then we can uh, see a higher targets but like i said my my target targets right now in uh, the stock would be around uh, this would be upper range over here and as i said my lower range would be set somewhere around these areas so that's that's the range for hdfc for the coming week that's it from my side uh, i hope uh, you all like the session and uh, for more sessions wait for every weekend to get done and we'll give you an update for the next week thank you very much this should not be treated as a recommendation please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing